How do you do, my fellow World of Warcraft fans? So, launch day for today for Dragonflight. <laughs> People need to chill. Like, like, for real, for real, no cap. Did I do that right? I don't know. I hear the kids and teens saying it these days. I have no, no idea. I don't care, really. But, of course... People need to take to the forums to uh, express their, their disdain for launch because, you know, launches always go smoothly. So I tried to log in just to see if I could. You know, I saw some people online on the Waking Shore. I'm like, okay, maybe you can get in. Uh, it kind of depends on where you are. If you're in Orgrimmar, there's no fucking chance of you being able to get in. If you're on a dead server... You know, where there's hardly anyone you might be able to, or if you're in an area that's not so populated, um, you might be able to, but Ogremar, you're not getting in. Um, it loads to about 95%, and then it just stays there. But we have all these people. Um, Dragonfly launches worse than Pearl Harbor. Uh, about the About the game state. This is not normal for an X-Pack. Yes, it is. Possible non-binary NPCs. Who fucking... Can it's a game and they're NPCs. Uh, how is server first even fair anymore? Y'all need to chill, chill, fail launch. Blizzard, what the actual fuck? Unable to play the expansion I bought? ETA for a while to be playable. Blizzard, explain your incompetence. Guys, come on. Should we just get a refund? I mean, you have all these little wimpy baby whiners complaining about it. Like, these are the same people who will be like, Oh, well, I'm going to take the entire day off to play the new X-Pac. You know, because everything will go smoothly and I'll be able to play World of Warcraft. Now, the, the game probably won't be fully functional and able to be logged in properly until about Wednesday or Thursday. Because Blizzard's not going to do anything about it until, you know, maybe tomorrow or... You know, enough people complain about it. So, but there are people who stay home, and this has been happening since the first expansion, that people will stay home just to play the expansion, but then they complain that it's that they're not able to play it. Well, duh. Why would you stay home for a video game in the first place? You could be out there making money. You know, and not, but not instead, you're just, you're just spending your day staring at a screen of, you know, queue time, six hours. Oh, yeah. Those six hours that you're waiting to get in, you could have been at work. You know, sometimes you might be lucky enough to get in there, but then you're just booted out a minute or two later. You're like, oh, yeah, I just leveled up. And then suddenly you're kicked. And it's always a shit show. And people seem to think that, you know, because the game's been around since like 2004, that expansions go smoothly. You got to remember the influx of people playing at one fucking time. Um, this isn't some game where it only has like 100,000 players. No, it's in the millions. I don't know how many people came back for Dragonflight, but <laughs> it's in the millions. So imagine these servers trying to... And they're all in one fucking area. Uh, so people need to fucking chillax. Like, seriously, chill. Um, I imagine this is your big chance. Imagine this is your big chance to make up for an awful few years and this is what you release. <laughs> now, obviously, this one's gotta be fucking... November 28th, 2022, a day that will live in infamy. It's so stupid. Yeah, seriously, relax. How are you today? World of Warcraft Dragonflight, now live. This is not normal for an X-Pack. Yes, it is. Every fucking expansion has had problems. Uh... Y'all need to chill. <laughs> rubble, 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 rubble. Um, rollback levels? Worried about the world first? Refunds? Is this your first MMO or MMOX pack? 
unsub, stuff happens. I know you want to play right now, but seriously. <laughs> Two hours of instability isn't going to change world first. It's not going to change how fast you level. It's not going to change the quest story or raids. So sit back, have a beer with me, and recognize how absurd everyone's expectations are. Blizzard, what the actual F. 18 years, and each expansion release has the same issues. Means that after 18 years, a large number of players still want to play the new expansion right as it launches. Yeah, servers can only handle so fucking much, and when you have influx of millions of players, you're going to have problems. Just... <laughs> Actually, let me try. Hang on. I'm going to see what happens when I log in now. I'll be right back. All right. So we've log in. we're logging in. I can log in easy enough. So everyone I have, apart from Yami, is in uh, Orgrimmar. Oh, actually, some of our <laughs> Najatar. Uh. All right. So... Let me actually move myself up a little bit. Don't know if I'll be able to log in and actually get in game. Because this is what it does. It like stops like right there. Like the music will stop as if it's like loading you in the game. But then it just stops. Completely. Like the music is stopped and it's just stuck right there. It makes me wonder. Um. Ah, okay. All right. Well, let me try another server then. I'll be right back. I log in again. Just the fact that we can actually log into the character select screen is huge. All right. We will go. Uh. Hi. 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 Let's go to Antonitis. Um, actually, let's see if we can just create a Drakthir on this one. Oh my god. Customize. Um, we'll just randomize, so I'm gonna I'm not even gonna look. And stop. Okay. Right, so. Oh no, I don't. It's a chick. I don't want to be a chick. I'm a dude. Okay, so now we can recustomize. What? He doesn't have any horns. He's just like a. He's like. Okay, so. And stop. Okay. And stop. Um, actually, that's pretty cool. I, I like the coloring of that. And finally. Agritol. Okay. I just like to do randomized stuff. Yeah, Caligos. They're looking handsome there. And Ysera, Alex Straza, and my boy Rathion over there. Yeah. If we're able to get in this. But I know some people aren't able to, so we may not even be able to make a draft there right now. We're just experimenting, really. Come on. 
more. Just go on. And go. And go. And go. I'm fucking uns unsubscribing from this fucking game. No, you're going to get a lot of people like that. You know, it's just like people on Twitter like, oh, I'm going to leave Twitter. They do that on um, on WoW forums. They're like, I'm leaving WoW. It's like, okay, it's not an airport. You don't have to announce your departure. And whenever someone says it, it's like, can I have your cold? All right, so it looks like even if you make a track here, you're going to suffer the same fate. I wonder what we can do to get into the game. Let me see. All right. Um. Uh, Northern Barons, we're not going to be able to log in there. Let's change to a low pop server. See if we can at least get on. Earthen Ring, roleplay server. Let's see, who do I have on here? Uh, Dreadlock, Sauron, Voidlock. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot about this dude. Ah, the legend that is Barry Lemons. Um, let's see. Am a lamb? Oh, Bam. I miss him. Bam was, uh, mine and my friend's cat, and he got hit by a car. But uh, he kind of reminded us of a panda because of his coloring. He was black and white. He was a Persian, so he had that nice long flowing fur and was black and white. And it just looked—he looked like a miniature panda. Uh, let's no felon. Stormwind. But let's just try try creating a random character or not a. Uh, let's see. Um. Great new character. Uh, let's do. Err, me horde, me orc, me smash. Uh, let's just go with the uh... warlock of that kind. Well, then again, just. Oh, wow, there is a lot of stuff you can do with them now. Oh, that's cool. Well, oh, you can really customize a lot, huh? Immortality. Huh. War paint. Upright. It's shunk. Just randomize. We gummit. And we can mesh. Um, so this is the new starting experience. You can choose to go. If it's your first time playing, you can go to Exiles Reach. Or you can go just to the Valley of Trials. We're just going to go there. Maybe. God, I love the expansion relaunches. Come on. It's right there, just where it was before. So I've been recording for, what, 13 minutes? And this entire time, we have not been able to get in once. Like, my friends list, there are people who are in the game. But it must have been nice to get in the game. I mean, it's going to be like this for a couple days, so you know, I'm not really too surprised or, you know, a, you know um annoyed this happens every uh every expansion so we just created a new character can't log in there uh we can't log in on you know this is a low pop server so if this is a low population low population server and you still can't log in of course there it's merged with other servers and all that but again this is why staying home is stupid for expansion day and for expansion launch. I mean. Still right there. 
So some fucking idiot would stay home. Like, oh, I'm gonna stay home play World of Warcraft today. And then for six fucking hours or more, this is what it's gonna be like. Every time you log in, every time you attempt to do something, it's gonna be that. That right there. Or it's gonna boot you. And then you're gonna try to log back in and it's gonna say, oh, you know, average queue time, six fucking hours. So you're gonna be sitting there like, Oof, I can't believe I fucking stayed home today to play this. Get your shit together, Blizzard. It's like, hey, you're the fucking stupid ass who wants to stay home to play a fucking video game. So, yeah, it's, it's, I can't think of anything else I can do that would actually let me get into game because every area is probably filled to the brim with players, you know, so I, I don't see myself being able to log in anywhere. Now there is one other place, servers down. At least we got something. Uh, Morales Harbor. Let's try. Go to Garrosh. Garrosh did nothing wrong. And let's try going to. <laughs> Najatar. Now let's try going to Dalaran. I swear, dude, it was like this fucking big. I know this is a great video, isn't it? This is to show what happens on launch day. Like I said, I'm not even pissed off about it because I expected it. I'm pretty much like, I'm probably not going to get to actually play till about Wednesday or Thursday. You know, it takes about a week for them to get everything in order. So. Same place. But at least the last one had the kindness uh, to, to, you know, kick me back to the thing. In which case, let's see, we're in Dalaran right now. What if we tried logging in Najatar? No one goes to Najatar now. So surely... Don't call me Shirley. Um, surely we should be able to log in there. You know, because a lot of the times, like I said, it, you know, if there's a large concentration of people in one area, it's not going to let you in. Did I actually get in? It finished. Am I actually able to log in? Come on. Quit playing games with my heart. With my heart. Come on. Oh, praise the Dark Lord. Truly, he is a kind Lord. Okay. So. Um. Since we're in Dalaran, so you can level past 760 now? Yep, you can level to 70. Um. But I, since we're here, I just... Look at that. Actually, hang on. Let me do this. Get rid of that. I always like to know my performance. Just look at that. I mean, it's so simplistic, but there's still nothing in this game that is quite like this. It's, it's just... This is one of the reasons I love World of Warcraft. The game design, as in like these zones, and this was back in 2008. And just look how fucking gorgeous. Just, they look like trees, but they're like crystalline trees. And just the coloration, it's just, Crystal Song Forest is still by far one of the most gorgeous places in World of Warcraft. Um. And it's unfortunate that there's really not a lot, like, there's some quests over there you can do, but this really wasn't thought of to be a, um, a zone to quest in and all that. But, um, just, you know, there's some over here, and then you can see there's more over there. 
it's just a gorgeous fucking zone. And even now, this is by far my favorite zone that WoW has ever come out with. And it's so simplistic. It's just a bunch of trees. But the trees, the coloration, it's just... Just look how they light up. It's just... I love it. You know, they kind of... They meld together in different shades of purple. And, you know, some of them are like this. And they're very, like, uh, illuminated. And then you've got these where they look like trees. But then you see, like, they're actually, like, crystal. It's... I mean, even when you look up close and you see the nitty gritty, you see that the textures and uh, the actual model of it is pretty simplistic. There's no real 3D model of that. They're just flat. Like, like, see, you can see like there and then it just disappears because it's just a, a, a texture. Of, I mean, it's not even a 3D model, but from far away. But it doesn't matter from far away. I mean, look, they blows in the wind. It's just... I just... I love Crystal Song Forest. Um, Wrath of the Lich King had some of the best-looking fucking areas. Shoals are Basin is amazing. Crystal Song Forest is amazing. Um, Ice Crown was okay. Grizz oh god, Grizzly Hill. I haven't even been Grizzly Hills here on him. But Grizzly Hills, the, the zone itself, the music, it's so relaxing. Even though like lore wise places in the in the zone have like dark lore behind it and not so happy, it's just it doesn't matter. It's so fucking relaxing. Um Now I'm gonna do something incredibly stupid. Uh, since I am in game already, I'm going to attempt to go to Orgrimmar. John, I know you're saying, why would you do that? You're not going to be able to. You never know unless you try. So. Which one's this? Oh, Dalaran. That's the um, Legion Dalaran. So I'm going to try to go to uh, Orgrimmar. And it probably won't let me because, you know. Now, again, I thank the Dark Lord that we are able to get in just here. You know, everyone is in Ogre, uh, Orgrimmar right now and everything like that, so hardly anyone's here in, you know, North Rendalaran. So, as you can see, there's, like, no one here. Oh, wait, hello. There is a person. Hello. A another person. Another one. Okay, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god. This is gonna be really, really stupid. But game still broke. Yep. Oh god, let's go over and see what it's like over here then. I think this is where you go to... Alright. And then what's over here? You know, I never got the... I, I Actually, I think this is part of a quest. Where you gotta go on and... Um... <laughs> rip user interface. So, I guess we can just get started. So we gotta go see Abyssion. Um, get started. The Dragon Isles await. Okay. So we go see Abyssion over there. All the way over there. All the way over there. Yep. All the way over here. Hello, asshole. Thank you for making me come all the way over here. Good place. Ah, here is the hero I spoke of. Let us work 
together. Answering your call. The Black Dragon Flight will protect this world. Your arrival is well timed. I have just met up with the Horde Council, and they have accepted the Aspect's invitation to the Dragon Isles. The same invitation extends to you as well. You may not. You may know, also notice some unfamiliar faces here in Overmar. The Drakthir are new arrivals. You will learn about on your journey ahead. Sure. For the aspects will be pleased that the the Dragon Isles hold great wonders and many perils. Those who answer the call will face whatever challenges may come. The strength of the Horde has always been its people. I am heartened to hear it. But know that the Dragon Queen will not abide conflict on her shores. The Horde honors its truce with the Alliance. To that end, the Reliquary will work together with the Explorers League on an expedition of discovery. I expect we will learn much from one another. Do not forget, Ibisian, that the Dragon Isles are home to the Drakthir as well. We intend to rediscover our past and lay claim to our future. Then let our peoples make this journey together, Thindrethresh. Agreed. Along the way, we can hone your combat skills, despite your obvious lack of wings. That's not very nice. There is much work ahead of us. Come then. The Dragon Isles await. Through the Dragon Isles. Hail, adventurer. I shall help you prepare. Uh, recruit moments. explorers. Can I just not go spot. there? I shall meet you at the Zeppelin once you've gathered our future. Discover or deliver. Okay. You have your orders. You have your orders, and so do I. I'm sorry. Stupid. John, you're fucking retarded. I know. But you guys love me. You'll never believe what came out of my ass today. We'll do more than join. We'll lead the way. No, you won't. You're lying out of your ass again, just like whatever came out of it. So what? It's like 20, almost 30 minutes in. We're actually starting to do something. God, we were just making progress, aren't we? Making progress, my making progress. La, la, la. Um, scholars say, recruited. It would be an honor to join the expedition. I'll gather my we'll join the expedition. And prepare them for <laughs> the huh? Oh, it's over there. Never mind. <clears throat> what? Oh, it's the one next to me. Okay. For some reason. Hello. Hello, scholar. In a snapshot? Not with you. My wife would get mad at me if I did that. Imagine all the wondrous relics collected by the dragonflights over the ages. I yeah. My wisest scholars I'm basically coming at the seams just thinking about it. I'm not really. All right, so now we got to go to uh, the orders delivered. The orders delivered. Up here, okay. All this just to get to the freaking Dragon the Isles. Situation? Okay. The odds favor us. Oh wait, yeah, duh. Let me uh edit mode. I said. And what was it? Zeppelin Tower, Zeppelin Tower. Okay. Both of us lead to the Zeppelin Tower. I'd like Shadowlands. No, I didn't. The <laughs> Shadowlands was boring. They had such a cool fucking villain and then they ruined it by like, oh, we're just gonna give him the most stupid idea ever. You made quick work of gathering our expedition members. Yeah, what can Are I say? I'm just fast. Not in everything, of course. Remember, there's magic in discovery. 
Keep an eye out for anything interesting. Okay. A surprise attack. Guards, arrest this handsome wizard. Ooh. Be at ease. He is an ally. It's dead, Gar. My abrupt arrival, but the news I bring cannot wait for pleasantries. What does Dadgar have to say? It's been a while. I wish we had more time to catch up, but you see, I have just... I just had a rather enlightening... No, make that foreboding. Yes, a foreboding conversation with an old friend. Sometimes a revelation can be both, uh, after all. I must tell you of what I've learned. Oh, God, Dadgar, we love you. We will defend you sexy fucking together. beast. Galagos. Oh, he's looking snazzy. I did not expect to see you again so soon, my friend. After you'd answered the call of the Isles. Something has happened, Kadkar. Something terrible. Galagos. Tell me. It all happened so quickly, and Rathian, young as he is, bravely or perhaps foolishly tried to stop it. But he was too late. The Tempest had already been unleashed. She let me live with a message. They are coming to cleanse the world of the Titans. Stand. Oh, Rathion, that sexy beast. Alexstrasza, who is she? Oh, Alexstrasza, that what sexy beast. Is she? she is Razagath, the brown of the primal incarnates. Incarnates for dangerous adherents of the elemental forces at the dawn of the aspects our flights embraced the titan's gifts they did not the war that followed was what? damn alex straza is looking it took all of us fine. To, combined to banish them if they were so dangerous why were they not destroyed I hadn't the heart to do it. We were once as clutch mates. Time, it seems, has not quelled their fury. And look at us. Should she free her kin now, we haven't the strength to stop them. And if Iridicrum's hunger is unleashed, then we have no choice. We must murder. If to be protect us once more. The aspects of our dragon flights must be made anew. Step on me, mommy. Her queen is determined, Kadgar. But we've only just begun to find who we are again. And I fear that without help, we may never get the chance to see our future secured. Hmm. Oh yeah, the staff. Then it seems the mortal races too must answer the call and face the storms ahead. Oh, Cadgar, you fox. That's a handsome man right there. Okay. Who's uh okay. Yeah. I could use Ride the Defiant Dragon Scale to the Dragon Isles. I look forward. The expedition, Zeppelin, shouldn't be too long now. Please, chat with your fellow explorers while we wait. Look, Tom. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot to do this, but I don't care. Go forth to victory. Um. Three minutes till the fucking arrival? Go fuck yourself. 
Okay, so I guess I'll just make a new video. Actually, when I, you know, after the timer and just getting to the Dragon Isles, because I've already been recording for about 35 minutes. So, that will be the next part. But, hey, at least we actually got to get in the game and play, you know? I'd much rather do all this as a Drakthir the first time around, even though, you know, Yami is kind of my main. But I would like to go to the Dragon Isles the first time and play through it as a Drakthir, so... Um... I'll have to do all these over again, but anyway, at least we got in. <laughs> That's going to do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.